Today is a really fun day because I get to take you through Margot's nursery. The biggest inspiration for the space was the ceiling. I think that her room with the roof lines feels like an old attic space and I wanted to take that and do it in a fresh way, but also have a lot of old school charm and lots of pattern play, the color palette, and just the overall feel. It is so special to me and I'm excited to walk you through. Starting in the hallway, there's this little vestibule and then you turn into her room and we had this wall space and I wanted you to be greeted by a cute vignette. So we did these hooks and this Moses basket and then you turn in and then you have this great ceiling detail and dormer window. Every room needs a great jumping off point and for me, it was the color of the ceiling. I knew I wanted that color in the space and I didn't want it on the walls. And I love that the wallpaper is neutral and feminine and it gave us a great backdrop to layer other patterns and colors. Got her crib. She's still sleeping next to our bed, but we'll move her in here in the next month or two. The glider corner, I always put an accent table next to a glider because moms need a place to put a bottle, a phone. This is our new glider chair from McGee & Co and the boot clay on it is so comfy and I come up here and rock her a lot. This is a lamp from our Target collection with this dresser vignette over here. I loved the green and I love that paired with the gold and the natural tones and those sweet little bow chairs. This vignette here, I love the sloped ceiling and this is a changing table. We needed some height with all of the lower levels on the crib and the chair. So we brought in this new McGee & Co chest and I can store blankets and books and I think it'll really grow with her over the years. Here we did custom drapes from the shade store and this hardware, I've used it in other places in my house. It's so pretty. And this pattern play might not be for everyone, but it sure is for me. I love the tones mixed together when space planning the room. In nurseries, I like to leave the space open in the middle so babies can crawl and roll and, and play and we can add toys as they get older. So you may recognize this bathroom. We've shared it on the blog before, but when I knew that this room was going to become a nursery, I wanted to make it feel more like a nursery bathroom. So we kept everything the same, but added this really sweet bunny wallpaper and I love that the tones of this coordinate with what's happening in the main room. It works with the green paneling that was already there. We have slate floors and then tub shower with marble on the walls, little hooks, and then this gives you a view back into her bedroom.